Hey everyone, welcome to Good Witch Intuitive Tarot. This is going to be your quick daily message for Tuesday. This is for Tuesday the 24th of October. All right, let's do it. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good? What do we need to know about this coming Tuesday for anyone who's guided? This is the uh, Italian Sibylla deck, the Everyday Oracle, and you got the La Fidelta, which is the dog. The dog is all about loyalty. What else do we need to know? Daily reading for this coming Tuesday for anyone who's guided. This reading really is for anyone who's guided. This could resonate now. This could resonate later on down the line. And anything could come out. And I can't stress this enough till the very last second of this video. Sometimes I click off and come right back on with messages that come out after I've clicked off. Happens all the time. If you can linger for just a second or two at the end, you might get a special message. It might have something to do with the reading or it might not have anything to do with the reading. All right, La Fidelta and La, La Letra. They are Italian, I'll do my best. Uh, what else do we need to know? Italian cards here. What do we need to know? This is, uh, I'm sorry, it's called the Everyday Oracle Sibylla deck. Okay, just for those of you that I didn't hear me say that. What do we need to know? What are the messages? Oh, desperato per jealousia. All right. <laughs> so we have, we have um, someone who's loyal. We have a message coming in. And then we have something uh, who's somebody who feels. Um, now, when it says desperato per jealousia, jealous, yeah, jealousia. So this is like desperately jealous, but it really could be someone's really just missing someone. And this comes out this way for me sometimes when I read these cards. That particular card sometimes comes out not as someone who's desperately jealous, but it could be. And let's see what else comes out. Sometimes it comes out as somebody really desperately missing someone. La Amica. So that's the female friend. Okay. And uh, the uh, consul. It's the it's the consolation prize. I'm not even going to try to, annou to pronounce it. What else do we need to know here? Daily reading for Tuesday. Yeah. And Denari. So this is really interesting. So. If you look closely, the consolation prize is someone fishing that bag of money out of the water, got like caught up in their net. And then we've got the denarii, which also could be something hidden in the cabinet that denarii sometimes could mean money. So this is something of value. And then we've got the La Reunion. So we do have someone who is, and the celebration back here, these are the people who are, um, they're having a little bit of a party here. Uh, they're happy, uh, something about um, reuniting with someone. So this makes me feel like um, someone really does want to reunite with someone they consider a very good friend or that they really care about or I don't know. And they're really upset about this. This relationship I feel is of value, but I'm going to, I'm going to be clarifying this just to get, make sure that we've got all the information we need here. I'm using the, um, everyday witch tarot. All right, let's get into it. All right. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good for this daily reading for Tuesday. What do we need to know here? Daily reading for Tuesday for anyone who's guided. This is for Tuesday, this coming Tuesday. What do we need to know for this reading? Yeah, I think I said it was the 24th. Is Tuesday the 24th of October? Yes, 24th of October. One more shuffle here, 24th of October for anyone who's guided. All right, let's look at the um, La Fidelta the dog and the I feel like this person is like gonna reach out I'm gonna reach out with the letter La Fidelta because I miss my friend or my whoever tell me about La Fidelta and the letter yeah I don't want to feel left out in the cold anymore five of pentacles reverse I want to have a new beginning ace of swords and communicate 
because why I've been waiting so long for this, the hanged man. So I feel like someone's been waiting a long time to speak to or say something or come together and they just don't want to feel this anymore, which is that five of pentacles right there, which is what I thought it was. I'm going to look at uh, Desperato per Jealousia. What do we need to know? I really feel somebody just really misses someone, uh, hasn't spoken to them or hasn't seen them. This could be a family member. Yeah. No speaking, no movement happening. I've waited. Look at this person. I'm still waiting. Uh, temperance for uh, something to happen here, but nothing's happened. The Knight of Wands reversed and the Knight of Swords reversed, both reversed. No communication, no forward movement. I'm really upset about this. I miss my friend. I feel left out in the cold. I want to communicate. I want to come back together. Um, I've been sitting here just waiting. Tell me about La Amica. What about La Amica? This is a female friend. Now, that you could be the female or they could. Four of Pentacles. Not budging. There's something, and that is the challenge. It came out on its side. So, the Four of Pentacles says somebody's withholding energy or somebody hasn't budged or somebody hasn't moved forward. And, you know, this would be Star Six of Wands. Somebody wants this so badly. This would be their, you know, look right behind that, the Magician. I am calling this in. Somebody is manifesting this friendship, partnership, relationship, whatever this is, to come together here. Tell me about the uh, the consolation prize and the denarii. What is this about? Why are we bringing finances or something of value into this? What do we... came right back out? The six of wands and the star came out of the deck that were at the bottom a second ago. This is something someone's manifesting in. All three cards are back again. I feel like um, this is somebody's... Uh, when we look at these, these are like... We're fishing in something of value. And something of value is in that cabinet. And this is what I want. So I feel very strongly that someone wants this so badly to bring this together. It's not about money or anything like that. It's really about this relationship is of value to someone this person's loyal this person's my friend this person is someone i love whatever it is this is of value to me and someone is trying to manifest it like this this is like the magician calling their ship in like manifesting their ship to show up everything i want the success six of wands the wish fulfillment the star the healing, the new beginning, the four of swords and the ace of cups. I mean, this is really, really nice. And the whole world right behind that. This is, I want this old cycle to end. I want this new beginning world ace of cups to come in and heal this situation between me and my friend or my whoever this is. This is a reading about someone who really just really misses someone. Maybe you both miss each other. I don't know, but this is most certainly a reading where someone is so upset that nothing's budged and I feel like this female has not budged either so um this person whoever we're talking about whether it's the female or whether it's someone else it doesn't matter they could both be females it, it really shows up as I want to reunite and come together with my friend um that's how it comes up but what is this friend to you right um, this could be someone who is in love with somebody and has never spoken or told them nothing's happened. I feel this is really a nice energy. I mean, somebody desperately wants this. I mean, really desperately wants this to come together. You guys have to let me know. I'm going to pull a couple of angel cards and I'm going to, you know, and this could be either one of you. This could be you sitting there going, I miss my friend so bad. I miss my person. I miss my family member. I miss my loved one, whoever they are. Uh, or it could be support just came out. Look at that. Support, delight. Can we get one more from, okay. Joy and willingness. Someone has to be willing to speak because no one's speaking up at all. Someone wants to, but they won't. They're not budging, but their wish fulfillment would be to bring this together. So listen, 
the person's going to be supportive. You will be delighted if you're willing to take the first move. There's joy and delight involved. I feel like whoever it is, I'm sticking right out of the bowl, the celebration. And remember, there is a celebration with these two people coming together. I feel like whoever, whichever one, this could be a sister, a brother, a mother, a father. It could be anybody. I mean, there's nothing here that says it, but... The not speaking, the not bringing it together is leaving someone feeling left out in the cold and uh, sad. But to bring it together would mean everything. But it's going to mean someone has to speak up. Where there's been no conversation and no movement, there has to be co communication in order for this to work out. And it takes you out of feeling left out in the cold. You, them, them, you. Good luck with this, guys. It's a nice little message for the day. It's a daily reading. Reach out to your friend, your loved one, your relative, your friend, and say, I miss you. All right. Talk to you guys soon. Have a good one. Bye.